Shalom, uh, Marquinhos, who come up, Pasha and Jerusalem, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash, who was unto the elders, the apostles of Jerusalem, and honor that led to the brethren on the highest and by his teaching the truth and all sincerity. Okay, uh, back with another lesson. Okay, uh, this is inspired by a video that I saw posted up in my chat group, you know, about this interview that was taking place. All right, now I'm not really here to comment on the, on the interview. Okay, but what I wanted to uh, draw your attention to was the comment board. Okay, and you know, people's understanding, you know, is increasing, man, you know, pertaining to the scriptures, okay, in, in certain aspects. Because we all know, if you, you know, these scriptures, man, you know, they're not all, they were not all, uh, kind of snugly to to the outside world man they disagree with a lot of things in the scriptures okay because today's society does not deem it appropriate or good or, or or whatever man okay so they're trying to change up things right okay but in this interview it talks about um Aretha franklin who just uh recently passed okay uh, about her being 12 years old when she had her first child Okay, I'm not here to discuss the circumstances under that, but what I am here to, you know, speak on is uh, this set uh, of comments, man. Because I was looking through here, you know, I was just reading what they were saying. Okay, and I got to uh, these comments started by Wendell Little, right? And um, open this up. Okay, and the discussion that goes on between them and a few other people. Okay. Because he, he's, he, I don't think in pregnant at 12 is normal because, you know, Jamar, whatever he's saying, um, you know, them things kind of happened in in that time. Okay, but, um, you know, the scripture tells you, man, a woman, you know, has become a woman, you know, when she starts a men menstrual cycle, man, okay, she, she's able to uh, have children, man, as when she becomes a woman. Okay, a young woman at that, yes, but she is capable. Okay, so. Men took brides of women at that age back in ancient time. Okay, and when I mean men, I mean men beginning from the age of 12 or so. Okay, they would be deemed young men. Okay, so any age up from that. Okay, but I'm um, just running through these uh, comments and that, well, some of them. Okay, because he said that I don't think getting pregnant at 12 is normal. Now, All right, this this guy Corey Green. All right, it says here not today. Okay, it's not normal to get pregnant at twelve today, but for millennia it was. Age of consent laws are relatively new, are a relatively new event in human history. The first age of consent law was in eighteen sixty six in London, England, and it was twelve. Okay, and it says it came about due to feminism and child prostitution. Okay, whatever, man. But the point stands on that. The fact that this whole, you know, age limitations, okay, are recently new by law in, in, in the West, in these parts of the world, okay, 1866, okay, the, the way, you know, this is all conducted, how, how a woman is deemed to be a woman is by her body, her, 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 her you know, um, reproductive capabilities, you know, everything that the, you know, the transformation from, um, from a child into a woman, you know, physically, okay, which happens around about the age of 12, okay, um, where else, you got some guys talking about some mad shit as well in here, but, um, let's see what the other comments were. There are particular um, comments I want to get out. Okay. 
Okay, hold on, I actually need to connect myself to the internet one second. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I've got these comments up now. Now I'm connected. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it tells you, well, it says in the code board, uh, another statement was made, right? It says here, what Andrea John says, my grandma was pregnant at 13, my great grandma 11 or 12. I believe my mother was 14 and I'm the second eldest at 31. Times were different for sure back in, in the day. My grandpa, great grandmother was married and had 11 kids. Okay, so as things go back, you know, further towards them older times, and things were different. Okay, this, this, you know, these, these um, modern societal laws and rules uh, are, are just that modern, man. Okay, and people have been conformed, you know, to believe in this modern system. Okay, and you know, you people have been, you know, persuaded that this is the right way. Now, I think the, the right way was different back then. Okay, but you know, the brothers out there, the elders, the apostles, now we read out this information in the scriptures, man, and people don't like to hear it, man. But this, you know, people, you know, are speaking like this because hey, this, this information is getting out there, man. Okay. And there weren't nothing wrong with none of this. All right. We scroll down here, you got uh, independence. Boys, how is it not normal? The creator makes no mistakes. Why would God allow kids' sexual beauty to kick in at 12 and 13? Okay, because that's the way the most I made people, man. That's how our body operates. That's how it's, meant, it's built to work. Okay. Well, like I said, we're pushing this information out there, you know, because this, in the, in the scriptures, is truth. Okay, but you all want to sit here and demonize us or, or things that, you know, we say according to the scriptures because you don't agree with it, man. But it's because you've been stuck in stuck in Babylon for too long, man. <laughs> the brother commented in, in, in the chat, man. You've been stuck in Babylon too long, adhering to their rules and, and, and regulations, man. Believing that their, their way is the right way under, under, under Satan. Okay, rules and laws are changed continually, man. My France ain't, haven't even got a age of consent right now, okay? But, it, you know, you go around different places in Europe, laws are different, okay? The laws, laws are different, okay? And back in ancient times, man, the laws were different, okay? According to the scriptures, it is different to how we live today, man. And we got to go back to the old way of living, man, the more righteous way of living, not this fucked up society that we live in today, man. But like I said, these these conversations, man, you can tell we're having an influence out there, you know, in in the truth that we're speaking out there, man, because in that is, you know, just in <laughs> people are speaking it, okay, as, you know, as part of the conversation, man. Okay, you got those who who are uh, you know who are against the idea, and you got those who you know have understanding that you know this isn't really all that weird, and you know unsavory man okay this is how things we used to deal with you know how we used to deal in uh in you know in a age more ancient times man okay um it says stop letting modern society control your mind okay and that's just what it is man okay we've been conditioned uh in the society okay you know you got people using these some extreme scenarios and shit All right. <laughs> yeah, one guy here says, uh, Dexter Smith, so Wendell Little he said, becoming pregnant at 12 is, is certainly not the norm, but I had a third or fourth cousin who became pregnant at 11 years old. She was sexually active at 10 years of age. Black women are fertile and black men are virile. <laughs> That's why they don't want us to see us reproduce and thrive because we've become a force to be reckoned with. All right. Hey, seriously, let I'll let you figure out who they are. Okay, and that is also a true fact, man. You know, we, we are able to re, re, you know, re reproduce hella quick, man. Because yeah, we are very yes, we are. You know, women are fertile and, and so on and so forth. Okay, it's part of population control. Okay, you know, amongst other other aspects, so-called white man's got out, uh, out there to to control population. 
ok I think that was it pretty much yeah okay but you no know, the point was that you know this you know these discussions man they're going on because the spirit that we put out there in teaching this truth man you know it's get you know it's affecting people man people are coming in more of a uh having a more of an understanding of these things man and it doesn't sound so outrageous and obscene to hear these things man okay because it's the truth it's what's in the scriptures man and like i said we're going to go back uh to those days okay but um here is second Ezra chapter 6 verse 28 it says as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared okay all this stuff that we're preaching from the scriptures man is the truth and the way we should you know be living and you know how we should be conducting ourselves man or right, okay it's according to the law of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai okay not this modern way of living man okay which has been developed you know by Satan for us man okay this is not the right way to live okay it doesn't matter if you agree with it or not okay this this is not a right way to live okay so the truth is going to be declared Okay, these things are going to be found true. Understanding shall increase and, you know, knowledge should be given out, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see. Ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they say we will not uh, walk therein. Okay. So, like I said, see, man, search for the old past, man. Okay, the old ancient way is the is the righteous way that we're meant to be living in. Okay, not this modern society that we live in, man. Okay, it says that we shall find rest for your souls. Okay, so this, you know, although these are not pivotal points, you know, in in you know the return of our Lord and our salvation, man, it's still the truth, man, and we'll cover aspects of the truth, man, because it's knowledge. Okay, then you have to come to come to terms and agreements with with the laws that the Most High set up, because he 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 created everything to operate in that fashion, man. You can't go against you know the the natural systems that the Most High created for us to go through, man. You can't say oh a woman isn't a woman at twelve years old. Most High deemed it different, man. Okay, you can't say oh that twelve year old is a child still. You can't say that. It's not your place to say that, man, because the most I made her to be able to do the things a woman can do, man. Okay, and you want to talk about mentalities and shit, man. You, know, you can get 30, 40, 50 years old, man. You know, they're all the same, man. Okay, you still do, do dumb shit. Okay, you still act like children, man. So it don't make no damn bit of difference. Oh, you know, well, she ain't got no life experiences, man. That's why you went to you raise your daughter up to be a good wife. Okay, then there there will be no none of, none of these issues, man. Okay, but no, you let your 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 daughters and that to to be to heart to be harlots, man. Okay, and you allow it to happen. Okay, so this is this is where shit goes wrong. Okay, so we we gotta look back to the old ways, man. Okay, and we're gonna return back to the old ways in the kingdom. Okay. Right, it's Jeremiah 18, verse 15. Right, it says, Because my people have forgotten me, they have burnt incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from their ancient paths to walk in paths in a way not cast up. Okay, to leave the way of the Lord and the things that were right. Okay, you're going after you know the ways of the heathen, man, basically. Okay, you're doing all things in vanity. Okay. Okay, you read, when you read this, man, the Lord said he punished us for, 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 for leaving it, leaving the ways, the right ways, okay? This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Right, and it reads here. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. 
Okay, so like I said, this world is getting out there and it's, you know, it's reaching the ears of these people, man, that, you know, are taking on board the things that are spoken in, in the scriptures, the things that we speak about. Okay, you got too many people out here trying to trying to label us fucking pedophiles and rapists and all these demonizing terms when we're not doing any of that shit. Okay, we're simply explaining to you, you know, the, the orders of the scriptures, man, the laws, statutes, commandments of the scriptures. Okay, and how to deal with things in a righteous manner. Okay, and that's simply that, man. Okay, but because you don't like what we're teaching, because of what the scriptures say, you know, you're trying to demonize us, man, because you hate us. Okay, that's fine. Keep doing that, man. You will be destroyed. Okay, for bearing false witness. Okay. But like I said, man, these things in the scriptures, okay, you can't get mad with, or you, you, you can get mad with, man, but it's not, it's not going to come tonight, man. The most I, like I said, is going to destroy you in due time. You don't agree. Okay, but these things are written, man, and, and th those are the things that are going to stand in the world, man. Not not this society. This society is not going to stand. This, this society is being broken down. Okay, these laws are nothing. Okay, there will be nothing. Okay, the laws that the most I created, they're the things that are going to stand. Those are the things that we're going to conduct our lives by. So get used to it. Okay. So, you know, that is, that is the gospel is going to preach into the whole world, man. And that's what you, you're witnessing right now. All right. Uh, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 12. It's a bit slow today. Says, let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children and left desolate because they departed from the law of God. Okay, we, we have to be joined back unto the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, so that means going back to these laws, such as commandments, and trying to keep them the best you can. Okay, not, not dismissing them as if they, you know, they don't matter anymore or, or to, to speak against them because you don't agree with them. Because society has taught you to believe in something else. Okay, then you're corrupt, man. You're not righteous. Okay. It says, they knew not his statutes, nor walked in the way of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Okay, that's not, it's not how you walk. Okay, you're being hard-headed, man. Okay. Is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 2. Or even verse 1, it says here, Woe to rebellious children, save the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Okay, you're not taking the counsel of the Lord. His holy writings. Okay, of your own emotions, man. And, you know, and you know the opinions of the world. That's what you uh, really gravitate to, man. And, and, you know, get down with, right? It says, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt, okay, which represents our captivity, which represents, you know, starting with America. Okay, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Okay, so like I said, you trust in, you know, your oppressor's laws, in, in this world, man, and, and um, public opinion, man. Okay, that is what you're, you're conforming yourself to, man. You're not conforming yourself to, to the law of such commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay, what things that are written. Okay, you're, you're conforming yourself to this world. Okay, we know this world is evil and wicked. Okay, hence why it's going to be destroyed. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 says this. So thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, we're not meant to be learning their ways, what they deem to be right, to be righteous. Because it's all bullshit, man. They don't know righteousness. They were never given the law of such commandments. And even though they run around with the Bible in their hand, speaking God this and God that, and you know, God save the queen and make you swear on the Bible when you go in the court system, they're not about that. They're not about righteous decrees, man. Okay, the law in the scriptures is righteous. 
Okay, whether you like it or not, it is righteous, man. If you don't like it, that means you ain't righteous. Okay? It says, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed, dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen dismayed. And the heathens don't know shit. They don't know what's what's good and what's wrong. Okay, they, they go off their own of their own minds, their own, their own hearts, man. Okay, but you're willing to you're, you're willing to accept their ways, man. Okay, and we're not supposed to. We got our own ways. All right. This is Revelation chapter eighteen, verse three. It says, uh, "For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication." Okay, you're talking about Babylon. Okay, because this is where all this madness sort of is being, you know, uh, propagated from, man. Okay, the wine is talking about that them philosophies, those doctrines, man, that these people hold around the world today. Okay, they go around infecting all these nations around about and who they go and invade and you know set themselves shop there and that kind of stuff. They affect all nations around it because they all want to be successful like America was, man. Okay, so they all want to conform to that way so they can be uh, you know superpowers and and and, and be successful and, and make money, man. Okay. So for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and merchants of the earth are, are, are waxed rich through the abundances of her delicacies. All right? So you, you're drunken under these philosophies that, you know, are being promoted out there in the world, man. That's being set up by the so-called white man. Okay? But you're meant to stay true to, to, to the scriptures, man. Okay, and that's what we do, man. That's what we teach. Okay, and no no man can gain say the scriptures, man. Okay, so like I said, you know, this this truth is getting out there, man, and you know, surely but sure, uh, slowly but surely, you know, these these people out there, you know, they start to understand a thing or two. Okay. But uh, you know, for us brothers, man, we know what the deal is, we're coming towards the end, man, and so hey brothers are gonna be waking up. Uh, to to this uh to the truth in 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 in, in time, man, and we gonna get the hell out of here, man. Okay, so you know with that, I'm gonna say shalom until the next time. I say shalom.